kindergartners, it's me, Mrs. Nakano. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do a draw as I draw of the chameleon from A Color of His Own by Leo Leone. If you haven't li uh, yet listened to the book, you're going to want to go back and listen to it. It's a great one. So we're going to start out with having our paper horizontal. Usually we have our paper vertical up and down. Today we're going to go side to side. You're going to need crayons and you're going to need a pencil to write your name on the back of your picture. Okay, so I'll give you a second to collect those. Hit pause on the video, then come on back when you're ready. You're back already. All right, friends, let's get our black crayon out. We're going to start near the uh, left hand side of the page, about halfway down. We're going to put our pencil or our black crayon on the paper, and we're going to make a horizontal line to the side. Okay, not too big, not too small, just right. Just a little horizontal line there. Right about the horizontal line near the right hand side, we're gonna make a circle for the eye. Make sure you go all the way around and touch at the top, friends. Next step that we're going to do is we're gonna start on the edge of that circle and we're gonna make it a curve to the other side. So it looks like there's a moon on the bottom and an oval at the top. And we're gonna color that oval on the top end. This is our chameleon's eye, and we want him looking up to see his surroundings. Okay, take your black crayon and put it at the left-hand side of your horizontal line, and we're going to make a rainbow until it goes just past his eye and stop. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to that horizontal line, and we're going to go a curve, curve, curve to the back, right past that horizontal line behind us. Now I want you to go to that top line. We're gonna go little line down. And on the bottom line, we're gonna to start to form his feet. So I'm gonna go vertical down space, vertical line. Okay, there's the start of his front foot. Next, we're gonna start at the bottom of those vertical lines and we're gonna go little diagonal out, hop, little diagonal out. Now, to make his feet, it's a little trickier than things we've done before. So I'm gonna take my crayon and I'm gonna make the smallest dots ever. They're gonna be so small and so gentle that we're gonna call it a butterfly touch. Remember when we do a butterfly touch, the lines are so small and the dots are so small and so gentle that if you did them on the back of a butterfly's wing, the butterfly wouldn't feel it at all. So I'm going to go in between those two diagonal lines and I'm going to make two butterfly touch lines. You might not even be able to see them. You've got to use your really super sneaky eyes. See them? One, two. I'm going to start on that outside diagonal line and I'm going to make a curve to the first dot, curve to the second dot, Curve to diagonal. Kindergarten rule of three, he's got three toes on there. Now I'm gonna find my second vertical line and I'm gonna go to the top and I'm gonna make a horizontal over, little horizontal. Now I'm gonna start on the second leg and I'm gonna repeat that same pattern that I did for the first leg. I'm gonna make a vertical line down space, vertical line. And I notice that my first foot is really close to the second foot, it's okay. I'm going to make a diagonal out, diagonal out, two butterfly touch, curve, curve, curve. I've got two feet there. I'm going to hop to the top of that vertical line that I just finished for the second leg, and I'm going to make a little horizontal over. Then I'm going to stop before I do my back legs. I'm going to come up to the tiny vertical at the top of his head. Put your crayon on it, down at the bottom. And then I'm gonna make a curve to the side. Now my curve to the side is gonna leave space in between so I can start to draw the tail on the top. But first, we need to finish his legs. Back at the end of the horizontal line at the bottom, you're gonna go vertical line down, space, vertical line down. You're gonna make two diagonals, two butterfly touch dots. And then you're going to go from the outside diagonal, cut to the first dot, cut to the second dot, cut to diagonal. We need four feet. 
We've drawn three. One, two, three. One more to go. I'm going to make a tiny horizontal over. Two vertical lines down. Diagonal, diagonal. Two butterfly touch dots. Super sneaky. Then I'm going to start at the diagonal. Cut to the dot. Cut to the dot. Cut to diagonal. Four legs. All four done. That means that we do not need to make any more legs. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the back of the curve for the body and I'm going to go curve out, around, and spiral. That's the first part of his tail. From the back of the leg, I'm going to make a little vertical up and then I'm going to copy that spiral by following along like it's its best friend. So I'm going to curve out. I'm staying close with the skip space to that spiral line. And then when I get to the very end of the spiral line, instead of staying beside it, I'm going to connect. Spiral in nature, friends. I'm going to give him a little bit of an environment right by him. An environment is a place that an animal lives. Up beside his head, I'm going to draw a couple leaves. I'm going to start at the top of the page. I'm going to go curve down. And I'm going to hop to the top and I'm going to curve the other way so it ends in a point. Line in the middle for details. There's one leaf. Then I'm going to start right beside that and I'm going to go curve down. Hop. Curve down. Line in the middle. There's our two leaves on the top. And then down in the back empty corner over here, we're going to do two more leaves. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the page and I'm going to curve up. Start at the bottom of the page, curve to connect, line in the middle for details, curve out, curve touch, line in the middle for details. So now we have our environment for our chameleon. We've got some details with the leaves and our chameleon looks ready to find a color of his own. Remember in the story when they talked about the chameleon, he was blending in with all different uh, colors in nature. So when you go back to color, you might want to use a variety of colors. Remember to stay in the lines and go back to look for white spots so that your chameleon looks just like our chameleon in Leo Leone's book. When you're all done coloring your chameleon, and all done coloring the two sets of leaves. You need to take your fingers like this, your thumb like this, put them together and say, Mwah, masterpiece. I hope you enjoyed watching and drawing your very own chameleon. Check out A Color of His Own by Leo Leone if you haven't already and have a wonderful Friday.